let's look at another example for assignment problem this assignment problem deals with minimization problems so in this problem we have five mechanics and five machines we have to assign each mechanic to each machine so this is the data given since it is a minimization problem we can directly go with the row reduction for the row reduction we have to find the smallest value in each row so in the first row the smallest value will be 15 in the second row it is 13 third row it is 12 fourth row it is 14 and fifth row it is 11 we have to subtract all the values i mean the, in the first row all the values with the 15 so it will be 5 0 10 10 and 14 and in the second row we have to subtract the second row value with the minimum value that is 13 so it will be 0 6 17 0 and 6 similarly for all the other three rows so it will be 8 5 2 0 3 and in the fourth row it is 0 6 6 2 10 fifth row it is 3 5 8 0 and 11 after the row reduction we follow with the column reduction In the column reduction, we have to find the smallest value in each column. In the first column it is 0, second column it is also 0, third column it will be 2, fourth column it is 0 and in the fifth column it is 3. So subtract the first column value with the minimum value 0. So you will get 5, 0, 8, 0, 3 and the second column will be 0, 6, 5, 6, 5 and third column will be 8, 15, 2 minus 2 will be 0, 4, 6, 4th column will be 10, 0, 0, 2, 0 and the last column will be 11, 3, 0, 7 and 8. So after the column reduction we have to proceed with the allocation of zeros. So for the allocation of 0 I am writing the same tabular column here. It will be 5, 0, 8, 10, 11, 0, 6, 15, 0, 3, 8, 5, 0, 0, 0, 6, 4, 2, 7, 3, 5, 6, 0, 8. Row cell allocation will be done only if there is a single 0 in each row. If there are more than one 0, just ignore that row. So in the first row, we have only one 0, I am allocating to it. I am also making sure that, that this allocated 0 does not intersect with any other allocated zeros which is done priorly. In the second row, we have two zeros and so I am ignoring it. In the third row, we have three zeros and I am ignoring it also. Fourth row, we have one, one zero and I can allocate this zero because in either side of it, I don't have any other allocation zero. So I am allocating this and in the fourth row, I am checking and I have only one zero and it does not if I suppose if I allocate it, it does not intersect with any other allocated zeros. So I am allocating it. Now I go with the column wise. In the first column, I already have an allocated zero, so I just leave it. And in the second column also I have another allocated zero, so I am ignoring it. And in the third column, I have one zeros, so I am checking on all the sides. It does not have any other allocated cell, so I am allocating it. And in the fourth row, I mean in the fourth column, it has an allocated zero. Fifth column, I have only one zero. Suppose if I allocate this one, it intersects with this allocated cell, which is done priorly. So I ignore it. So after allocation of cells, I can see that each mechanic is not assigned to each machine. So one mechanic is still left. That is the second mechanic is still left without any machine. So I have to proceed further. What should I do is, first tick all the unassigned rows. Unassigned rows are the rows which does not have any allocation of cells. Second row does not have any allocation, so I am ticking that one. So if a row is ticked, then I check and then I select the zeros in it. In this ticked row, I have two zeros in it. These two zeros, I have to select the columns in it. So these two zeros, so I have, I'll select these two columns. After selecting of this column, I have to select each column. Now in this column, I will check whether they have an allocated cell. In this column, I have an allocated cell in this row. So I tick this row. In this column, I'll check whether I have an allocated cell. In this column, I have this allocated cell, which is in this row. After doing all this, I have to strike out all the unticked rows. We have two unticked rows here. So I, have, I will strike 
the unticked rows and then I will strike the ticked columns so it will be this one and this one so after this I have to find my theta value for selecting the theta value it will be the minimum value which is not being striked here the minimum value is 3 which is not being striked so the theta value will be 3 after selecting the theta value I have to construct a new table in this new table what I will do is this theta will be added with the values which has two intersection a cross like symbol a number which has a cross like symbol will be added with the theta value and and a number now for the construction of the new table value we have the theta is equal to 3 so if a value has multiple lines over it we have to add the theta value with it if there is only a single line on a particular value we have to just write as it is without in, without involving the theta value with the all the other values which does not have any other line we have to subtract it so the first value is 5 since it has two lines on top of it I am going to add 3 with it which will be 5 plus 3 8 and 0 it has only single line on top of it I will write as it is 8 also 10 has two lines over it so it will be 13 11 as it is here we have only single line so it is 0 8 plus 3 will be 11 single line 0 single line 3 again here we have another single line it will be 0 2 lines so it will be 3 single line 2 single line 0 again we have another single line here so uh, 5 0 we have already added and it is again 0 the rest of the values we have to subtract it with 3 so 6 minus 3 will be 3 15 minus 3 will be 12 3 minus 3 0 and then uh, 6 minus 3 3 4 minus 3 1 7 minus 3 4 5 minus 3 2 6 minus 3 3 8 minus 3 5 after getting the new tabular tabl column we have to again allocate the cells as we did before in the first row we have only one zero so I'm allocating it and it does not intersect so there's no problem and in the second row I have three zero so I'm ignoring it in the third row also I have two zero so I'm ignoring it and in the fourth row I have only one zero suppose if I allocate this one it does not intersect with any other uh, cells any other allocated cells so I'm allocating it and in the last row I have one zero if suppose I allocate it it, do it does not have any other allocated cells so there will be no issues I am allocating it now I am going through the column wise first column already has one cell allocated to it so no issues second column also has another allocated cell in the third column I have one zero suppose if I allocate this one there are no other allocated cells so I am assigning it to it fourth row already has an allocated zeros and in the fifth row I have two zeros suppose if I allocate this one there are no other allocated cell, uh, cells beside it or on top of it so I am allocating this one now I can assign each mechanic to each machine that is the first mechanic is assigned to the second machine second mechanic is assigned to the fifth machine third mechanic is assigned to the third machine fourth mechanic is assigned to the first machine fifth mechanic is assigned to the fourth machine so the total value which will be obtained from the original tabular column will be since the first mechanic is assigned to the second machine which will be 15 second mechanic to the fifth machine which will be 19 third mechanic to the third machine which will be 14 fourth mechanic to the first machine which will be 14 again and fifth, fifth mechanic to the fourth machine which will be 11 by summing up all these values we will get a value of 73 so this will be the final result thank you